Hi. I wanted to speak with you briefly today about energy drain. As we are doing our work, trying to be the best selves we can be, dealing with our pain and our past trauma, we may find that certain people in our lives really trigger us. And oftentimes the first instinct is to obviously get angry and be triggered and feel that feel, but also the desire to move away from that person or decide that this person is no longer part of your life for whatever reason. And that it's much easier to cut someone off than to actually look at what it is that's troubling you. So that's what I want to talk about a little bit today. Keep in mind that everyone on this planet is here to learn whatever his or her lesson is. You've got yours, your next door neighbor has his, your mother has hers, your father has his, your partners have theirs. We can't control anything that they do, but what we can control is how we behave in response to whatever happens in an interaction with someone else. So if you keep in mind with, with an ounce of compassion that we're all suffering in some way or we're all trying to work through our stuff in some way. Well, some of us are, some of us are not, which makes it even more triggering, right? When you're doing all this hard work and this person is just being a jerk. But what you can do in those situations is pull your energy back in. Right now it's drained out of you by spending so much time thinking about and stewing over what that person did or those people did, the us and them thing. If you actually pull your energy back in and own your emotional ground about what has triggered you, then you're better able to react from a place of compassion, even a loving place if, if and when appropriate. Of course, keep your healthy boundaries. But what's really, really important to understand is that while people may do dumb and even hurtful things, it's your responsibility to take care of your own energy. Put a security shield around it, a loving beam of light or whatever you want to envision where you simply have decided, I don't want to feel this way anymore. I don't want to be triggered by anyone anymore. So it's something to practice and it is a practice. Try it for yourself the next time you feel really angry at someone. What would it be like to just pull your energy back in? Imagine they are suffering too. Those people are experiencing what they're experiencing, learning the lessons they need to learn. And this is a beautiful opportunity for you to lovingly create boundaries for yourself. And at, at the very start of it, not to allow yourself to go to a place of pain or anger because of what someone else does. You are in control.